Light Rising is celebrating their fifth birthday by launching a new dimension to the core dragon creation game with the addition of eye types. I cannot overstate how impressed I am by the rollout of this feature. There was market testing, the launch time and method it was very clever, and the development of this feature at all in the way that it is applied shows a very nuanced understanding of the virtual pet space that Flight Rising currently occupies in the unengaged parts of the network that they could occupy that adding this feature allows them to do. So those are the things that I would like to talk about today. The market testing, the launch, and what this means for Flight Rising as a game and the new markets that they now engage by adding this feature. The first thing that I thought when I saw that the new addition and celebration of the birthday were eye types was, oh my gosh, they did the thing. They used April Fool's Day as a market test for a feature to see if the interest was there for the feature. And then when they saw that it was, they decided to build out the feature. Internally, the process may have been a little different. Let's talk about what a market test is. A market test is when a new feature is introduced to get an idea if the user base is interested in it. It could be a small demographic test where a product is temporarily available, very small scale stuff to see if there is even an interest there. I made the comment that games should use April Fool's Day as the opportunity to try crazy things. And I remember saying quite enthusiastically that the eye apparel on Flight Rising, if used as a market test, would have proved to be incredibly effective and that they should roll out Flight Rising eye apparel. They took this an, even a step further and made it into gameplay. It is possible that they were already considering doing this when they were building the apparel. However, the fact that they did it and that it worked in the way of it being an April Fool's prank, people loving it, then making the apparel permanent, and then rolling out the feature indicates that it possibly was a market test. I deeply enjoy that this was part of the birthday celebration. Flight Rising does a very good job of refreshing content and keeping the game forward and competitive in the market with new things to bring users to the site or to bring them back to the site. By adding this type of small feature where it is a new customization to dragons and you can do it to your already existing dragons. It's limited time. You can get the apparel from the Colosseum or you could brew it and these items hopefully won't retire. Hopefully they'll bring them back for future holidays, which is just a great way to interact with the economy and get the usership excited for a short period of time. All right, thanks for sticking through me through the it was strategic timing to launch it thing because this is actually the exciting thing and I couldn't get here without that one. So this shows a nuanced understanding of the virtual pet space as a genre and an understanding of what Flight Rising currently does and what they don't do that other games do. Flight Rising is a dragon breeding management game. It is not so much a hatching game. There are hatching elements. You do hatch dragons. However, it could further its positioning as a hatching game, and I would argue that this does that. A breeding game is a game with statistical likelihoods that you have a lot of the control of the outcome. A breeding simulation, you know likely what's going to come out of it. A hatching game has an element of mystery to it. There is something that you have no control over that doesn't really have anything to do with the input. That's what these eyes are. The way these eyes operate is that it doesn't matter what kind of eyes the parents have, the offspring are going to have a random grab bag of eyes. It's like opening a blister pack of trading cards every time. It renders the game into more of a hatching game. Hey guys, so I'm trying to do more face cam stuff. Thanks for watching this little mini-sode about the eyes. 
I told myself that I could make this video in a couple of hours and if I could then I would get to upload it so here we are I made it happen you know sometimes you have to cancel plans or whatever but I made this happen okay and I'm happy to share it with you I turned off my patreon for this month because I haven't been upholding my part of the social contract but there is like a feature where you could just turn it off for 30 days so we'll be back for next month and I'm going to show after this is uploaded with consistent uploads that I am back and that I'm here I am working on a pretty large video that's more like for me and it's just like the first half of 2018 and I'm gonna talk a little bit about like why I'm back in St. Louis and just like generally the exciting wonderful things in my life because I'm surrounded by like really incredible people and I get to be part of really fantastic things just all the time and I if I'm not making videos you guys don't know that so um, thank you guys so much for being here um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe tweet Instagram I love all of you hopefully I'll be back at live streaming soon um, thanks bye